Today's daily challenge is Das Auto. Win a street race in a Volkswagen. So that's what we're going to do. Let me see what Volkswagen I have. So we're going to go back this way. Okay. Oh, I already know. It's this one. I'll use the new one. Because I have some cool ones, but no, no, no. This. This, this, this. Okay. So here is here is the secret I like to use that I will employ. Okay, so it's a dirt car, right? Dirt. But I have to use it on a street race. So we go and we find a street race. Let's get rid of everything but the street races. Okay. Now you just find one that you want. You find a nice path. I don't want that one. Nah, I don't want that one either. Sure. Okay, so we go here. And we're going to create a custom blueprint. Because I want to control who I race against. Not that I really care. If, if I wanted to, I'd just jump in. But I want to show you guys this. So you enter event, solo. And then you go over here to event lab. And then I like to pick... Who you're going to race against? So you do you want to race against other Volkswagens? Do you want to race against, you know, other Rally Monsters? Which I think is what I want to do because they're going to be limited. They're going to have, um, or S1. They're going to have similar things. They're going to have dirt tires. They're going to have all that. So track unchanged, publish, and there we go. So I need to use a Volkswagen. That's why I picked that, but. I don't think I've driven this car. The other one says I have. Maybe for a second. I like those tires. They look so cool with BF Goodrich with the weird dirt pattern on them. Alright. So street race, rally monsters, super easy. And I got an accolade for it, so look at that. That Puma is rocking and, and or rolling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? Hyundai? I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a Fiesta. Oh, I forgot. Street race. Traffic. Remember, we have to win for today, so... I usually try to win anyway. I'm just saying you have to. That's the whole challenge. It's the whole shebang. Okay, here we go. Big turn. I know this one. The other um, blueprint I had was for when I was doing the uh, unbeatable Dravatar challenge. For, or accolade, whatever. And it's you have to win 10 races on like dirt. Cross country, street race, apex, like all the different disciplines at unbeatable. But I used my Mercedes Benz Forza Edition, that big truck. You've seen me use other times on the channel. But I made it so I raced against other unlimited off roads. And, uh, and unless you get that exact truck racing against you, unbeatable. Um, you're, you're fine. If you get that exact truck, the only problem is is if they're out in front. Because they're just going to go. Because the thing is so good. But that's why I had that other blueprint. That's why I love having a dirt car. Because if you go off the road a little bit, just floor it. We are prepared for this situation. Alright, so I'm a little... Uh, low on the top end here. That is definitely something I would change. I would recommend a 7 or 8 speed for this car because I like the acceleration it already has. I don't want to change the gearing. I just need a 7th speed. And that's a, that's a problem I found with a lot of the rally monsters. Last uh, Forza Horizon it was the Gymkhana whatever uh, Ford Focus. One had six speeds, one had seven. And that made all the difference. 
because as you can see I can only go 136 so when I get done here we will go fix that we will go remedy this poor little Volkswagen oh look at that right in the camera I love that rear I want to call it a rear grill that's what I want to say it looks like the front of a Passat or something not a Volkswagen guy but that's my thoughts on it get it a a a got a monster suit on rocking the rockstar car that's sacrilegious blasphemous that would be funny I'll tell you whatever um a Hoonigan livery on the Tanner Faust mobile um let's go we're going to put that transmission in and we're going to see if we can get a different livery for this so find new designs we'll do that first we got a little Herbie the love bug there we got more rockstar there's monster we got um cobra is that it um more Herbie's we do actually have a we have a Red Bull. I like that one. Oh, I like this one. I think we get that. <clears throat> Let me see it up close here. Gotta wait. Gotta wait. Okay. No, I didn't want to do that. Go back in. I hate to do this, but whatever. Look at that. I love the color. Is that flat? Oh, it's so sick. Yep. That's cool. All right. Definitely, definitely cool there. Let's see if we can maximize this thing for S1900. Drivetrain. So we have our pick of transmissions. We even have a drift four speed, which is hilarious. Um, I think I'm just gonna get an I'm gonna get an eight speed. Let's try that. Um, race diff, off road diff. I'm gonna leave it in because it probably has a rally diff already. That's why it's not available. Um, we've got a crash bar that gets the livery that's behind it. Oh my gosh, those are ugly. What in the world? The wing is a tire, and it's a steely, and it covers up the cool roof graphic. Yeah, all that's trash. Literal trash. Okay, going in here. I don't want to change these. Let's see what the rally will give us. Actually, less grip. Amazing. Um, should I change the wheels? Let's see how heavy they are. Okay, so they are heavy. What wheel do I want to run? I think it would be awesome to run one of the Volkswagen or Euro wheels. Like something like this. Oh, this looks so sick. But they actually gain they actually gain weight. Now those HREs are less. You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna go with it. I think they look they give it a different look and we we uh Oh my Look how wide they are. Let's see where we're at. Are we we're still S one. Uh we're not changing any of that. Okay, we're good. Brakes. Let's jump those up. And drift so we already have rally that's cool anything we can do the engine <laughs> nice all right so we didn't get much out of this thing but I believe it's a completely different car so a street race in a Volkswagen turned into a surprise tuning session for a car I love but don't drive Das Auto is complete. So we have one more challenge remaining. 
are nine stars at speed traps in any Mercedes. That's going to be the cover car tomorrow. Look at that. That is that is clean right there. I love the tires. I love the sticker tires going around on the HREs. Let's see if we can get a shot. Let's let's do our uh, thumbnail right now. Let you guys see it a little bit. How I do it. Screenshot that. Actually, let's take a shot. See if no no new cars. Okay. I thought maybe I hadn't taken a picture of it, but oh, dude. So there's seventh. We're going 162 up into eighth. 165, seven, eight. Up over the hill, still gaining mile per hour. I just love these cars. Let me tell you. Ever since Gran Turismo 1 or 2, I love taking the rally cars and putting uh, tarmac or asphalt tires on them. This thing has like both. I love this car so much. Look, the exhaust sticks out a little bit. And then you can just be like, yep, we're just going to go. We're just going to go off road because it can do it, apparently. Look at that. Uphill, 80, 90, don't matter. What was that? Oh, it just goes through it. Okay. Ooh, sorry. Whoops. That doesn't look like the front end of a Volkswagen. I'm sure that's what they did, but I love it. Oh, it would have been cool if I wouldn't have jumped right into the Grand Canyon there. So, let's amend our trajectory and proceed. Oh, into those rocks. Nice. Okay. All right, here we go. Even more lefter to jump. Ooh, ooh. Trying for a barrel roll. You know what? Let's see if we can land on the road. Close enough. <laughs> Count it as a make. All right, we're coming back down. Let's see if we can speed trap. We're over our, t our previous top speed. We got the big turbo. Alright, in the 160s. Got the big brakes on. I like this car. I'm going to start using it more. It's a lot of fun. Um, What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. So, we didn't tune it. We upgraded it, but we didn't tune it. So, I'm looking at this gearing situation here. It looks like our top speed is 180. So I'm going to give it more acceleration and see if that top speed changes. So we've come down a little bit. 176. Um, let's leave it there. Let's see what happens, right? Let's apply that. Launching in the wet. It feels pretty fast. Try to break, 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 break. I hit, I hit two tires. I thought I was gonna take out all the tires. Where'd my wing go? Did I lose my wing? That's odd. Okay. There we go. As usual, the daily challenge short video has turned into me playing Four Thousand Five because this is about the only time I play it. But here we go. We're having fun. We're having fun, right? Just drifting. In the rain. I told you I like this car. I wasn't lying. Look. Oh my gosh. It's nasty. Be in awe of my mediocre skill level. Alright, let's just cruise for a little bit. Watch the rain hit the camera here.
It says her top speed was like 176, but slowly approaching that. We are at red line, in the red, 73, 74, 5, 6, I want to see 7. It will not. It might do 7 downhill, but it will not on flat. Losing mile an hour slightly as we go uphill here. I am flooring it to the moon. Nice speed trap. Completely topped out. Alright, I guess the end of this video is going to be me hitting this uh, danger sign at the end of the freeway. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to show your appreciation, get in contact with me, tell your friends about it, and keep up to date with the channel. I'm here every day posting Forza Horizon 5 content, mostly daily challenges. On Thursday, we get a little more to do with the festival playlist. We get the weekly challenges. We get the trial. The PR stunts. Make some videos about those. Any guesses on the danger sign? Uh, school where I get here, how many feet? The other day, I don't know what car it was, I can't remember. It wasn't a very good one, but I, got, I was trying to get 1100. Oh, it was the Porsche shop. 914. We can do better than 1100, right? No, we can't. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, we tried. We tried, right? Once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys coming here every day. And if, if you don't come here every day and this is your first time, welcome. Make sure you come back. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.